Most of us give very little thought to the roads we drive on every day. We grab our coffee and get in the car. Unless they're closed for repairs, washed out in a flood or in some way rendered impassable, we'd hardly notice that path we're taking. But imagine if your drive involved a path through a sandy hot desert or steering through a river of crocodiles. These roads exist, and considering the work it takes to construct roads that rise up from the ocean and take drivers to the sky, there are even roads that go through mountains made of stone. You don't believe us? Well, here are 15 incredible roads you have to see to believe. Our bag's done, gonna do passports. I'm super excited, let's check this out. And we're gonna take a cheap in. You're gonna get ripped off a little bit as a Westerner if you're not willing to walk away. Kai Hills Crossing. Why did the saltwater crocodile cross the road? Experts estimate there are as many as 200,000 saltwater crocodiles living in Australia. To people down under, that might not be a big deal, but for the rest of us, that's pretty shocking. Cahill's Crossing is one of Australia's most dangerous bodies of water, known to be a feeding ground for supersized saltwater crocodiles. And of course, a road rolls right through it, and wouldn't you know it, both crocs and cars have to share it equally. But that doesn't stop people from trying to make the journey, even though the crossing is submerged partially and extremely dangerous. What do you think is going to happen to these drivers? You guessed it, every year, vehicles with passengers in them get washed away into the saltwater croc stew. Others risk their lives by wading in the waters and fishing. Some even bring their kids to swim. But remember, this is Australia. Disaster does strike. One gnarly attack at Cahill's Crossing involved a 40-year-old man who was fishing when he was taken by a crocodile that launched him from the water and decapitated him in 1987 in front of his friends. So, know before you go, if you still would like to visit in the dry season from May to October, you need a permit to cross in, yeah, an all-terrain vehicle. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Chapman's Peak Drive, South Africa. Anyone who's been to the southern tip of South Africa knows it's a sight to behold and like no other place in the world. However, driving Chapman's Peak is a next-level experience for sure. The western side of the mountain drops sharply for hundreds of feet into the Atlantic Ocean, and Chapman's Peak Drive hugs near the vertical face of the mountain. Buckle your seatbelts. Locally, people refer to it affectionately as, but don't be fooled, Chapman's Peak in South Africa can be a potentially deadly road trip. From the coastal town of Hout Bay up to Chapman's Peak, staggeringly steep cliff sides and hairpin turns make for quite a thrill. Just don't make a U-turn. You can take the distinct pleasure of driving a marvel of engineering and live to tell about it. Engineers chose to develop the road on the steep mountain for good reason. The mountain's hard granite provided a solid foundation and a softer stratum of sandstone made excavating easier. But for the first 80 years after it was built, Rocks would regularly fall from the mountain, shutting down the road and occasionally killing drivers. However, by the early 2000s, engineers resolved the problem with new technology to make Chapman's Peak drive safer. <laughs> the Snow Walls of Tatayama, Kurobi, Japan When you think of a winter wonderland, you probably don't think of Japan, but the truth is Japan gets epic amounts of snow. So much white snow, in fact, that this Japanese city becomes a major tourist hotspot. The ride is unforgettable. Welcome to Tetayama Kurobi, Japan. You made it. Did you pack your mittens? The snow walls here make a ride like no other through what appears to be a maze of snow. At peak conditions, it's like a winter pilgrimage. All the accumulated snow in spring, especially around the upper sections, form a majestic snow corridor. The walls reaching over 50 feet high. It's part of a roof of Japan, a mountain road across the Japanese mountain ridge, part of the Chubu Senguku National Park. Located only a few hours north of Tokyo, the snow wall completely steals the show of the 55-mile-long route. You can even walk along the snow walls. Highlights along the snow wall adventure include Paranormal Road with views of the Tetayama Peaks, a snow hut, snow maze, and a snow slide. But you can get access to Japan's highest altitude hot springs to the country's highest waterfall. Completed in 1971, it's completely inaccessible from December to mid-April. <laughs> Karakoram Highway, Pakistan, China The Karakoram Highway, formerly known as the China-Pakistan Friendship Highway, is an 800-mile road. The Karakoram Highway features the highest border crossing in the world at an elevation of over 16,000 feet at the Kunjari Pass. However, this architectural masterpiece was not built without major sacrifice. About 1,000 workers in total from either China and Pakistan lost their lives. 
So naturally, this important road is regarded with great reverence in both countries. What was once an important Silk Road route, which used to link the Indian subcontinent with China, is today considered the eighth wonder of the world. And it looks like it took great teamwork to complete, as most great highways do. Its construction was started at a joint project of the two governments, and because of that, and the lives lost building the road, this highway is known as the Friendship Highway. <laughs> Ruta 40, Argentina National Route 40, also known as Ruta 40, is a route in western Argentina. It's the longest route in Argentina and one of the longest in the world, at a staggering 3,100 miles long. At its southern end, Ruta 40 starts at sea level and along your journey crosses 20 national parks, 18 major rivers, and 27 passes in the Andes. The southern part of the route, by now largely paved, has become well known in the adventure tourism biz. Travelers can see 180 degrees of sky in some places along this route, and the horizon is so vast. If you're into a little off-road adventure, there are deep canyons, petrified forests, volcanic craters, basalt dikes and cliffs that will leave you breathless, not to mention the birds and wildlife, and the region is rich with culture too. Despite the low population density, there is a strong local indigenous culture with strong traditions, and for archaeology enthusiasts, there is plenty of artifacts to find and evidence of the early pioneers and traditional farming methods. No doubt, this is probably one of the more powerful ways to tour the Argentinian countryside. <laughs> <laughs> Highway 1, California State Route 1 is an absolutely epic north-south highway that runs along most of the Pacific coastline in California. At a total of just 656 miles, it's the longest state road on the west coast. Not only is it one of the best road trips in America, it's famous around the world as an ultimate bucket list excursion. For those in the know, start in San Francisco and head down to Los Angeles along the Pacific coast. Say no more. It's a classic all-American road. Grab your sunglasses, some flip-flops, and wear a seatbelt. Highway 1 is a ride of a lifetime, connecting the coastal cities and California communities along the way. However, like all highways, Highway 1 is not without its dangers. Landslides and erosion, many times throughout the highway's history, have caused several segments to be either closed for repairs or rerouted. Mostly, the route runs closely parallel to the coastline. However, it does turn inland to avoid several federally controlled or protected areas. But no big deal, Highway 1 also gives tourists access to the beaches, parks, and other attractions along the coast. Endless fun! The route annually helps bring several billion dollars to the state's tourism industry, and rightfully so. It's an adventure waiting to happen. The Atlantic Road, Norway when you ride this incredible road, you get the feeling you're on a roller coaster, but the views are way better. The legendary Atlantic Road runs across an unbelievable archipelago of small islands on stunning coastal Norway, for starters, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Between Christiansen and Bud, the five-mile road connects Averroi Island with the mainland thanks to an elaborate display of engineering prowess. The creative use of bridges is like an ocean wave merging nature and transport in one perfect highway experience, and the ocean has been of great importance in Norway for centuries. You can tell by how they designed this opus. At a narrow 21 feet wide, drive Drivers travel over eight bridges, like a road in an amusement park, and throughout, there are resting places and viewpoints. And for a more authentic Norway experience along Atlantic Road, there are several tourist sites and places to dine close by. And obviously, this region is a fishing and scuba diving mecca. So much more, too. The Atlantic Road is a world-class roadway for anyone craving the unique combination of nature and engineering excellence. By car, foot, or bike, you decide. <laughs> Route 1, Iceland. There's nothing quite like Iceland. The landscape is absolutely incredible. All sorts of natural phenomena are endemic to the island, and Björk was born there. The extreme scale of its geography and surreal scenic quality to the environment make it a popular filming location, specifically when an alien-like landscape is needed. Iceland is out of this world. And if you find yourself there, the best way to see Iceland is via road trip. Route 1 is a national road in Iceland that runs around the islands and connects most of the inhabited parts of the country. So there's that. Connectivity is key. The total length of the road is 821 miles long. And along that entire length, you can visit Iceland's finest tourist attractions, gurgling geothermal springs, vibrant rainbows, fields of horses, icy ancient glaciers, waterfalls, and mountains for miles. If you're lucky, you may even catch Aurora Borealis, aka the Northern Lights. It doesn't end there. Route 1 also harbors hidden dangers like ice caves and erupting volcanoes, a land like no other. But watch out for extreme weather. 
because it can turn on a dime. But don't let that stop you. While you could technically drive the whole thing in less than 24 hours, the reality is it'll take you at least a week with stops along the way. <laughs> the Great Ocean Road, Australia. There's so much about Australia that it's awesome, it's nice, it's different, it's unusual, and the landscape is a marvel of extremes. Beautiful and lush in some areas and dry and deserted in others, and chock full of some of the most diverse and deadly wildlife in the world. Feel like going for a drive? You might want to stay in the car. We're joking. But if you're going for a drive, you might ride on the Great Ocean Road, which stretches more than 150 miles. Old growth temperate rainforests spill down the sea, with lush growth literally touching the shores. World class surf breaks bring thousands of surfers every year along the way, and the orange limestone cliffs are a delight down under. Oh, and of course, you can't not stop at the seaside towns and do some shopping or maybe grab a bite in some of the local restaurants. Kangaroo stew for you? Uh, we'll just take some water. Interesting fact, the Great Ocean Road is also the world's longest war memorial. It was constructed by World War I soldiers who returned from the battle as a memorial for those who lost their lives in the war. The Great Ocean Road between Lorne and Apollo Bay is the location of the annual Great Ocean Road Marathon too. Today, it's one of Australia's go-to driving destinations for both locals and tourists alike. Trans-Sahara Highway Africa This is one place in the world you definitely don't want to get a flat tire, the Sahara Desert. And the Trans-Sahara Highway is one of the most brutal roads in the world, hands down, running for a mammoth 2,800 miles through three countries. The highway is plagued by security risks, so prepare for the unexpected, but nothing compares to driving a highway through one of the world's most intensely harsh environments. If the scorching temperatures don't kill you, the lack of water sources might. Some motorists prefer to travel in the evening to keep cool, and just to try and find a gas station, forget about it. There aren't any street lights or rest stops, nothing. You'll need a four-wheel drive car, extra supplies, plus extensive desert driving and mechanical finesse. 85% of the road is paved, however, there are still several miles of the Trans-Sahara Highway that are little more than tracks in the sand. In addition, travelers with their own vehicle are required by local law to hire an escort, and certain borders are often closed. So, like we said before, be prepared. But still, the extreme highway is still popular among thrill seekers and adventure tourists, which makes sense. Drivers push all the limits on the Trans-Sahara Highway, Hmm. Friendship Highway Tibet The China-Nepal Highway, aka the Friendship Highway, is an unforgettable remote route on the Tibetan Plateau with a length of 467 miles, considered one of the best roadways on the planet. This mountain road crosses three passes over 16,000 feet above sea level and links the capital of Tibet with the Chinese border. So this drive is an absolute stunner. You get to see so many cultural monuments, endless grasslands, meadows, and mountain vistas for days. The Friendship Highway passes five of the world's highest peaks, Mount Everest being one of them. The legendary winding road is also significant to travelers seeking pilgrimage in holy lands. They make their way from all around Tibet to its spiritual center in the capital. But the highway is not without extremes. The mountain road is so narrow at points that only one car can get through at a time. And in the rainy season, during summer and early autumn, traffic jams can be caused by landslides. So remember to pay close attention to the weather before you drive. The road was opened in 1967, but at that time the road's sole purpose was for military. Today, it's the most popular route travelers take in Tibet. <laughs> Trollstigen, Norway. Norway really takes the cake as far as major roadways and mind-blowing natural wonder coming together. This is the ultimate in driving experiences, the Trollstigen, Norway. It's like descending from a mountain through a valley paradise. No joke, Trollstigen, or the Trolls Road as it were, snakes and climbs its way up and down along steep mountainsides. According to Norwegian folk legend, trolls roam through the mountains in the moonlight nightly but change to stone when the sun rises. Shrouded in a veil of mist, their stone bodies create the mass of cliffs that mesmerize both visitors and Norway natives alike. Of course, the trolls are responsible for all this beauty. After heavy rain, waterfalls cascade down the mountainside, drenching cars as they pass. So drive carefully. Much of it is single lane, meaning traffic jams and passing vehicles are part of the process. There are 11 hairpin turns, and each bend has its own name most of them named after workers that led the construction crews that built the road. So not only is it beautiful, it reflects on a major point in Norway's vast history. Trollstigen is a two-hour drive with spectacular views and sights that opens at the end of May, closes in the fall. During the top tourist season, about 2,500 vehicles pass daily. Hmm. <laughs> Stelvio Pass, Italy 
It was originally built between 1820 and 1825 and has a deep climb of 1.16 miles. It's extremely challenging to drive, and often vehicles can't handle the extreme nature of this iconic pass. It has 60 hairpin turns, 48 just on the northern pass, but hey, it's a world-famous view the entire time. However, at 9,045 feet, this road is the highest paved road in the Eastern Alps. But as you can see, it's very dangerous. No matter how fit you are, what helmet you wear, or if you're using GPS, there's a small barrier on the side of the road. That's it. With 180 degree corners, you might just fall off and plummet down the side of the mountain. Several accidents have taken place on this high altitude pass. People underestimate the difficulty involved in traversing its zigzag path. Local drivers have been describing it as homicidal, and the weather can be crazy too, as you can expect at such an elevation. Yet, it's still popular with tourists, and even more so with cyclists because of its epic length, elevation gain, gradient, and the phenomenal elevation. The Stelvio Pass was originally built between 1820 and 1825 by the Austrian Empire. Guoyang Tunnel, China This world-famous tunnel is a mile long, 16 feet tall and 3 feet wide, and located high in the mountains of the Henan province in China. Say hello to the Guoyang Tunnel Road. Get ready to wrap your heads around this. It only took five years to build, 4,000 hammers, 12 tons of steel, chisels, all carved out by only 13 people along the side of and through the mountain. Before its construction in 1972, it was only accessible by some steep, narrow stairs embedded in the mountainside. And it was treacherous, slippery, with 720 mountain steps called the Sky Ladder. Beautiful, yeah, but efficient, no. A change was very necessary, so 13 villagers set to build the tunnel. So come May 1977, the new Gualang Tunnel was open. The wall of the tunnel was rustic and uneven, but there are more than 30 windows of different sizes and shapes carved into the tunnel as well. Scenic for sure, but not without its challenges. Most accidents in the tunnel are primarily caused by negligent tourists, and there's only realistically enough room for one-way traffic. It's also one of the top 10 steepest roads in the world, a huge tourist attraction in China. But for locals, this tunnel is a testament to the hard work of the 13 locals who carved the long road through the mountain. Qianmen Mountain Road, China Located within the Qianmen Mountain National Park in China, this heavenly road is 7 miles long from the bottom to the top. The construction of the road took 8 years, finishing in 2006, and it draws travelers from all over the world, especially thrill-seekers and eco-tourists. But it starts out at Tongchen Avenue, which translates to Avenue Toward Heaven. But it could be hell, as it has 99 hairpin turns. The highest point of the road is over 4,000 feet above sea level. Those are the extremes you're dealing with as a driver. You have to be extra careful during the drive, taking it slow and paying attention to every curve and turn. The scenery looks beautiful, but take your eyes off the road for a second and you're on the fast way down to the bottom. But if you can manage it safely, the destination is like heaven. But if you can't take the road, there's mountain cableways that'll take you up the mountain. Plus, there are also 999 stairs to climb after that before you reach the peak where Heaven's Gate, a natural rock arch, awaits. Hope you're not afraid of heights because this climb could be the gate to hell if you are. Take your time. This mountain road is a trip to heaven. Thank <laughs> you.